In this problem, we're being asked to find intercepts, asymptotes, domain and range from the graph of what's called a rational function. And before we start this, I would just want to take a look at some rational functions. What makes a rational function a rational function is that you've got a fraction and an x is on the bottom of the fraction somewhere. What happens when you have an x on the bottom of a fraction is you get some odd looking graphs, different from the kinds of polynomial functions you might be used to. And the reason is, you know, we can't ever have zero on the bottom of a fraction. So if x is zero, things kind of go crazy. So you'll notice on the, the left side of this graph, at zero, this function just shoots down to negative infinity. And on the right side of this graph, the function shoots up to positive infinity. It never anywhere touches zero on this graph because we can't have that. We can't divide by zero. Those lines where uh, x goes, where the graph goes up and down uh, to infinity uh, are called asymptotes. In this case, this is a vertical asymptote. Rational functions also have horizontal asymptotes, and sometimes they actually have diagonal asymptotes. We'll get to that a little later. In this case, uh, the, the horizontal asymptote is at zero. You can see that on the left side of this graph, this shoots off to negative infinity um, as it approaches uh, the line uh, y equals zero. And on the right, it shoots off to infinity at that spot. So this is a, a main feature of the graphs of rational functions. Uh, there are asymptotes. Here's the graph of x plus 1 over x minus 1. All that's really changed here between these two shapes, you can see we've got sort of two arms, um, is the location of the asymptotes. We've got an asymptote at y equals 1, and we've got an asymptote at x equals 1. And this vertical asymptote, you can always find it because it's where the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, is 0. In this case, if we put in 1 in for x, it would be 1 minus 1 on the bottom. That would be 0. That's why you have this asymptote at x equals 1. And then here's a slightly more complicated um, uh, rational function. So I just wanted to show you that sometimes they can have more than two parts. So here you've got sort of two arms that we're used to from these previous ones, but also this sort of uh, loop uh, in the middle here and we've got multiple asymptotes. All right, let's take a look at this first problem. It says the graph of a rational function f is below. Assume that all asymptotes and intercepts are shown and that the graph has no holes. And that's something that'll come up later. Sometimes instead of an asymptote, a graph can have just a single spot where there's no value uh, for it. And we'll, we'll look more at that later. So we're going to use this graph to answer these questions. And the first question is, where are the vertical asymptotes? So here, the vertical asymptotes, they've drawn them in as dashed lines. So this isn't too hard. It's just the lines x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. So we can put those in. x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. The horizontal asymptotes, there's just one here, and it's at x equals 0. And this is an asymptote for this arm and for this arm, but not for this center thing. So this is y equals 0. OK. B says, find the domain and range of f. And remember, domain is everything x can be, and range is everything y can be. So let's t just scan across this graph and look at the x values. It definitely shoots out to negative infinity here and positive infinity here. Um, in fact, the only values where we don't see um, the x covered is at these asymptotes. So if we're going to write this in interval notation, we'd start at negative infinity and we'd go all the way up to negative 2. We don't include negative 2. And then we go from negative 2 up to 4, not including either of those. And then from 4, not including the 4, up to infinity. So what this union of intervals does is just say x is everything except negative 2 and 4, where the asymptotes are. OK, and let's look at the range here. Um, so it looks like we have every value for y including 0, where the asymptote is. Because this asymptote 
uh, works for this left hand lobe and this right hand lobe, but the center piece goes right through the zero. So definitely y equals zero is included on this graph. So I would just say the range is all reals. Or if you wanted to put that in interval notation, you would just say negative infinity to infinity. All right. And the last part is to find the x and the y intercepts. And that's not too tough when we have the graph. We just uh, look at where it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. So our x-intercept, there's only one here. It looks like it's at this point 3. There's no place else that it crosses the x-axis. So that's there. And the y-intercept would be here at 2. And it doesn't look like there's any place else that that crosses the y-axis either. So that is how to find the asymptotes, the domain and the range, and the intercepts of a rational function.